welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we have a different kind of haul for you. This is a pretty little thing haul. So I've heard a ton about the brand, but I've never actually shopped there. And I decided to just give it a try. I found the website to be very user friendly. They had a lot of plus size and curve options. If you're new to my channel, I'm a size 18 to 20, currently leaning more to the size 20. And they had tons and tons of options. The only thing is, Pretty Little Things style didn't really go 100% with my style. I would say there was a lot of bodycon things, a lot of tight dresses and stuff like that. So this haul, I did pick out some things that, you know, were indicative of my style, but there are a few pieces here that I will say are a huge step outside of my comfort zone. And you'll kind of see that as we go through the haul and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Pretty Little Thing has a lot of trendy pieces, which is great because I feel like plus for plus size women, we don't always get the option to be trendy, but I'm loving that more and more brands are being size inclusive and giving us those options. So that is what today's video is gonna be. I'm going to try these on for you. I got a good array of items. No pants though, just because it's summer, I'm not wearing pants. And if you guys know, when you see my like videos, I have like two pairs of pants. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, we're gonna hop into the video. So these first items I'm gonna show you are actually a set. Wish me luck. Guys, why did I wear space buns today? I'm like turning into Pr Princess Leia buns really quickly. So it's a crop top and midi skirt set. This was like front and center on the plus page and I really, really loved it. There's another color that's like white and red that was sold out. Oh! Fits. And let me put the skirt on for you. Yeah, this seemed like a very trendy little set, something that see all the Instagram girls wearing. They both have a zip, a side zip here, so you could get it on a little bit easier, but to me it is kind of hard to zip things up sometimes. So keeping the zip together and just shimming it down my body sometimes is the better option. I did unzip the skirt. Let's see. As I said, I got everything in a 2X size US 20 according to their charts. All right, so I've gotten both pieces on here. So as you can see, it is this crop top and then this skirt, it's a midi skirt. Um, it has this leg slit right here. Now, I don't know if you can tell because of the dark color, but there's some ruching going on right down here. The skirt's a little tight through my tummy, but not like terrible. The waistband has a little bit of room. It's not like skin, skin tight, but the top does have absolutely no stretch. I don't know if you guys can see this here, but there's like a little boob cup that your boob is supposed to sit in, but it is a very small little cup and I am wearing a, you know, strapless bra and my bra is like much bigger than this little boob cup, but I don't think you can really tell very much because of the color. This is really nice. I will say this is very thin. I love the way it looks and the overall kind of aesthetic of it. It's giving me, you know, very trendy, stylish vibes. The skirt's hitting me at a good length. All of these good things, but it does feel a little bit cheap. Just the overall feeling of the set, the thickness of this material. It's just like a one ply itty bitty little thing. And these straps are very, very skinny. Like it's a good thing I'm not putting actually strain on this because I am wearing a bra. They are adjustable, which is nice. And then this is the back. This is hard because the overall quality of the items don't feel super great so far, but the style and the fit is doing a lot for me right now. I feel super great. I love where this is hitting me. See the little leg slit here. My tummy is defined, but because of the color and the fabric and everything like that, it's not really bothering me as fun. The only thing with this is that you couldn't really wear shapewear unless it was just like a panty shapewear because this leg slit, most shapewear that's like shorts would come lower than that. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like I'm giving this, I'm gonna give this like a seven because you know, they took a lot of attention and detail into the si the style, the fit, all of that. But I think the quality is just a little bit lacking. So I'll give it a seven. All right, so I threw this one on just with some shorts that are from Boohoo. And this is another little crop top. This one is a, a 2X again, so a size 20. The whole top of it is stretchy, which is interesting. It gives that kind of ruffled baggy look up at the top. The only thing is, is the straps are pretty loose. I think just because there is so much movement in the area that they're attached to, that they could have been a little bit shorter just to give some more support. That would be an easy fix, but I don't know if I love the overall look. It has this little pleated detail down here as well. And then when I turn around, this is what it looks like. That seam kind of design continues all the way around. This is that little pretty little thing 
tag that they do. I thought it was only on like their dresses and stuff, but there's one on here. I don't know, this item's like cute and it's fine. I just think that, I don't know, just because this little top construction, I just don't think it's like the, like it's made the best. And again, it's very, very thin, but it's like a sweaty thin. It's not thin and like billowy. It's thin and like, this is gonna be hot. You see that? Like as soon as I relax my shoulder, we got slippage. So I would give this one like a five. It's really cute. Again, the style, the fit, they made sure that it would fit and accommodate a larger bust. So like, that's great. But the quality and a little bit of this construction just isn't, was not fully thought through. So I'm gonna give it a five. It also has a little side zip. So if you needed some help getting in and out of it, but again, because this top part is so big, as long as you can get this over your waist, you would be fine. Okay, so this next item I think is my absolute favorite so far. It is this little peplum top. I kept those same random shorts on. It has this button detail and this is like fully functional. This is how you get in this top. I was kind of able to shimmy over my head, but it is a little tight. There's not a ton of stretch into this besides what the buttons give you as far as stretch and you kind of don't want the stretching. It has these puff sleeves and they have uh, elastic at the wrist, so you get that cool look. And this square neckline, I'm gagged. You guys know that I love a square neckline. This is like everything I love in a, in a top. And then also it has this peplum. It is cropped, but it has this tiny little peplum ruffle that goes all the way around. I'll show you the back, it goes all the way up here. This is just so cute. Like this is very old school. Like it's giving me Victorian vibes. It is this kind of natural linen-y material and it has just like a nice, it looks like a natural color. Obviously they've dyed this, but this is giving me that Victorian kind of coffee dip dyed material feeling. And I feel like this would be so cute with high-waisted blue jeans. And then like this pep lumped out in like a white heel. I think this would look so, so amazing. I feel like I'm a character in Hamilton. I will never be satisfied. But yeah, this is so cute. And obviously this is a good transition piece. Like you can wear this into fall. Again, got this in a 2X. I would say, I'm gonna give this one a nine. This is really good, especially because they got the proportions right. Like this top bit has enough room for, you know, my chest, but then it does get smaller here at my waist. I don't feel really tight anywhere. And I love these sleeves. It does need a good press because of this fabric, but yeah, I really like this one. I'm giving it a nine. Okay, guys. So I guess we found one that's like a definite no, which is unfortunate because I thought I would really, really like this. This is just so big. Like, I don't know what happened because I feel like the sizing consistency so far was pretty decent. But this is again a 2X, so size 20. And it's huge, which I guess is good if you're looking for, you know, a dress to fit you. You need something a little bit more oversized, whatever. But this, I'm like swimming in this. And usually I like a big dress, but this is like a bit much. Let me try and tie, it had, came with this like black rope belt. So I'm gonna try and tie this to see if it helps a little bit. This is that like, do not remove unless you are purchasing kind of thing. Uh, no, <laughs> it's not gonna work because underneath the bust, there's a seam line. So you can't really like, I guess you can. I don't know. It's the top is big. The waist honestly is not that big, but this top has so much extra fabric. The sleeves are huge. And then it has that puff sleeve on top of it. So it's just giving me like weird, weird vibes. Let me pan down. It's actually a dress. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Again, they love their slits. It has a little knee slit there. It would come in a good length to that calf, but this top is just so, so big. It's see-through because the quality is not very good. And then there's elastic on the wrist here, but like I would have to pull it like way up for it to even fit. I feel like this portion of the dress, like from the seam line down, is a different dress than the top. Yeah, this just feels a little bit wonky. Then you pan up and you just have so much fabric. It's not terrible. If you're looking for something, again, a little bit more conservative, something that you might be able, you could probably wear this to church. You need to wear some good undergarments because it's see-through, but you could wear this to dinner with the in-laws. Maybe not with this leg slit. I'm not sure. It's just not my favorite. This one's just not my favorite and it's just a little ill-fitting for me. Fabric on top is just really not doing it for me. So I'm going to give this one... I'm gonna give it a four, I'm sorry, because I am happy that I can get it on. So far, I've been able to get all these items on, which is really nice. So, you know, their sizing is inclusive. I believe there's more sizing beyond this, up to a three X, 
but this is just like an ill-fitting dress. I probably wouldn't recommend you getting it even if you're a little bit bigger because I didn't realize at first like this portion is the correct size. It's like they put two sizes up on the top and then a correct size 20 on the bottom. So I'll give this one like a four and I would say not to buy. Okay guys, this next item is my absolute favorite so far. So it is actually a wrap dress. So it's a denim wrap dress. There's a button on the inside here. Then you wrap it over to the tie over here and you tie it up. It's hard because I'll show you the length. It's really short. So it's a summer dress, but it's thick. Like this is like actual denim, it's like a thick denim. So this is the dress, very short. <laughs> I don't know if I would feel comfortable going out in public in this. I would obviously wear something like shorts underneath, but I just don't know even then because it's like, it's at that length where it's like, okay, if you wear shorts, like you might not even be able to see them. So it's like, okay, they're there. If you bend down, you know, something happens. But at the same time, it is so short that they're like, oh no, I want people to know I'm wearing shorts. So do I need to wear longer ones so they can see it? So it's just like a little funky length, but I don't know. I just think it's so, so cute, so feminine. I love this shape, how it's like flares out so much at this waist and this wrap detail i just think this is like the cutest thing ever and i'm going to keep it and find a way to feel comfortable wearing it <laughs> again this is size 20 2x and it just gives me like all the good vibes like this is so so cute some gold accessories chunky gold earrings a like platform sandal if I can get over the length, this is gonna be my favorite, favorite dress. So this is the last item, the last set. So this is actually a swimsuit, I'm gonna pan down. This is out of my comfort zone. Don't feel comfortable. I want to keep it because I think it's really, really cute, but it's just different for me. So this is a two piece, as you'll see, but it is also not like high-waisted and not particularly thick. So it doesn't like suck you in. It doesn't have padding on the boobs. Like this is what I think standard size thinner women are able to wear and you know, plus size women can as well. But I've been kind of conditioned to think that this isn't for me and that I shouldn't wear something like this. So I'm going to pan down. I'm still wearing my underwear um, because you know, there's sanit like a sanitary thing there. And also I just feel kind of weird. So let me pan down. So this is the swimsuit. As you can see, it's not like crazy high-waisted. It is a little bit, but like you see my whole tummy. Usually if things are high-waisted on me, they go to this little line here. This like line. The bust, it's like, this is very loose. It's only one ply. There's no boob pads to like cover your nipples. You can see my underwear here. Um, they're a little bit cut higher on the hip. So you'd be able to usually see my skin. And then the butt is like pretty covered like I feel like this covers a decent amount just some side cheek is out but it's definitely not a thong or anything like that and then the back also comes pretty low but again see some rolls because again usually my bottoms come like here this is a swimsuit I love it but I feel exposed so I don't know if I'll keep this swimsuit the longer I have it on the more comfortable I'm feeling I like how thick this is I kind of like that it's not a super suctioned suit just because I feel a little bit more free and like I don't know not like I'm in shapewear or something which sometimes swimwear does feel like I would give this a seven the fit is fine <laughs> um it's a little thin and I think it's just me mentally that I don't know if I would actually wear this or if it would be like practical because like there's not a lot holding these girls up here so is this your style let me know all right guys so that is the end of my video I wanted to come back and give like a final thoughts because I feel like this video was a little bit all over the place I think that pretty little thing has great style generally decent fit considering plus size doesn't always it's not the most consistent fit but it is generous in fit so I would rather it be too big so that I have to size down than way too small where I'm like there's no size to go up to so if you know what I mean in that regard I think that it's a little inconsistent in fit and quality the material of some of these things didn't feel the best and didn't know how many wears I would get out of some of these things kind of angling my decisions on whether I'm keeping things or not. Overall, I think the style, the cuts, all of that is very on trend, very fashionable. And I really, really appreciate these options. I really appreciate these options as a plus size woman who usually doesn't have that many trendy options. So 
Overall, I think I'd give Pretty Little Thing like a seven or an eight. I would shop from them again and I really enjoyed some of these pieces. Things that I'm keeping, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it and see how it goes. Who knows if I'll wear it on public, but I really like the swimsuit. I'm keeping the denim dress. I'm gonna figure out how to wear it and not feel like my whole bum is out, but this is so, so cute. It's like my favorite piece from this whole haul. And I am also keeping this shirt, this Victorian dream cottage core shirt. I think this is so cute, so structured. It's not something that you, I feel like I would usually see at like a more fast fashion, cheaper brand. And I feel like it looks expensive and with a good steam, it'll be a nice addition to my wardrobe. These other things I will be sending back just because A, the fit wasn't great or the quality wasn't great. Didn't see them integrating well into my wardrobe, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you'd like to see any of these other first impressions of um, specific brands. I have a playlist that I will link down below of all my other plus size hauls. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and comment down below if you like these kind of videos and I will see you next Tuesday at 9am. Bye. Oh, it's all the time I told Pippers